Today on Look What Just Found, we got a special episode. I get asked all the time, how much is that worth? And I understand, you know, the economy is horrible. Rolls of pennies are basically free. I mean, you go get a roll of penny from your bank and you bring it back and uh, it's net, net even, right? The balance sheet is zero out. Um, and if you find a penny that's worth something, then uh, you're, you're, you're positive. I mean, for, 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 the, for the cheapest amount of investment you could make, the potential is there for, I mean, obviously some pennies are worth thousands of dollars. Um, my experience, you know, if you find one that's worth a hundred bucks, you're, you know, you're golden. You know what I mean? Okay. So most pennies in the bank come in wrappers like this. <clears throat> Every once in a while, I'll go to the bank and I'll get wrappers like these. Now, you can still pick up wrappers like these on eBay, but generally speaking, these are wrappers from like 10, 20, 30 years ago, generally speaking. The one that I feel is older is this one. I found more of the um, Abbott Coin Counter Greenwich, Connecticut wrappers than I have the one that's slightly uh, reddish, more reddish than than um, brownish. So what I did was I put 50 numbers here. We're going to put this here. And in my opinion, this is basically the you know it doesn't get any better than this you know if i could if i if i knew a bank had these in them i would go and i would get all of them instantly if it was one or if it was a thousand i would go get them all for video content this is video content gold i i have not this i have not opened this i have not looked at it uh, but my assumption is that it's going to be mostly copper. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. But that's typically what they are is, you know, I'm going to say about 25 to 50% copper in these penny rolls. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark down. Maybe I'll use this pen here. The other one is this one. The one I wrote it in is I think it's a felt tap, right? Yeah, it might dry out by the, by the end of the video. I'm gonna use this one. My favorite pen in the world. It doesn't. It doesn't go through paper. Um, it doesn't go through too much through paper like some other markers do. Unibor Vision Elite. Okay, you can leave it. You can leave it without the cap on forever. It doesn't dry up or anything. Okay, and we're gonna see. We're gonna see, uh, man. I do it like this. I have to write on the bottom of it. All right. How much I think this roll of pennies is worth. So um, I'm going to put down, how, let's look how much very quickly, how much a copper, copper cent is worth today. Copper penny uh, value. Um, gram. I thought it was like three. Uh, approximately two point. Right, right. So there's three. There's about three grams of. Okay. So let's. How much is copper per gram? Value. Right, right. Each copper penny is. Uh, whatever three. Let's call it just call it three grams. All right. A hundred. A hundred grams of copper is worth. About two dollars. Um, 
and there's oh, okay right so that means um each gram that doesn't make sense that's what it says how much are 100 grams of copper worth according to this is two dollars per 100 grams that would be uh two cents <coughs> i don't know why i thought it was more than two cents per um per penny i oh, know i'm sorry that would be uh yeah two cents oh what am i saying that's two cents per gram three grams is six cents wow wow holy moly i mean it's 1.96 so maybe it's more like five cents or five point something cents but wow it was like four all right because i remember it being like four cents holy moly six cents okay so here we go so at the minimum i'm gonna put six cents per copper okay all right Uh, I'm not going to look anything up. This is going to be me making a guess, okay? Is this the one I want to? Yeah, it's the side I want to open. Did I say 25 to 50% copper? Okay. Holy, wow. This is like, this might be 100% copper. All right, like I said, this is a special video. So if I find, I'm not going to go, why does this feel, all right, I'm, I got to take the scale out. <clears throat> I, I don't know all of the, um, how much everything is worth. But I'm going to take a very conservative 3.1, all right, 3.11 on the dot. So it's funny that I, it says it says a little bit under two cents per um, per gram, but the, but the, but pennies are about 3.1. So that little extra one, I'm going to say, is going to offset the um, the gram difference, and I'm going to say it is about six cents per copper penny. Okay, so that's one. That's copper. Right, let me take a look at it. We're, we're still going to look for errors. So this is going to be a regular, a regular video just with the extra, extra addition of, if I think there's any value. So we got, we got, point, we definitely got six cents. All right, so this you can't see it there. Look, I'll show you here real quick. But you can see here, I'm gonna write each one. I'm gonna do this the old fashioned way by hand. I'm gonna write each one when I think the value is of each cent. 64D. Okay, that's a nice one. Now I'm gonna be honest with you. On certain on certain older older Lincolns like this that are in oh this is this is at least fine condition, probably extra fine. I'm gonna put a little bit of a premium on it. I'm gonna put ten cents. <clears throat> I'm gonna put ten cents. If it's an old, if it's a premium uh, scent like that one is now, someone might say, "Oh, that's that's only worth." I mean, first of all, it's, it can't be worth a penny, right? Because it's, it copper is worth six cents. We've established that. And again, this is an estimate. This is an estimate. And you want to say it's wrong? You can say it's wrong, but I think it's going to be pretty close. And I'm very familiar with eBay. And. Um, And a lot of their prices. Somebody sent me an email the other day. 69D. Mm. 
And um, they asked me, <clears throat> he sent me some pictures. He's probably going to watch this video. And he said, oh, what do I think about, I guess, I don't, I don't know. I guess he wanted to know if he, if he sold it for a good price, according to my opinion. And um, when I look at that, as soon as I picked this up, I was like, all right, some of them I'm going to weigh. I'm not weighing all of them. Just for time's sake, I'm going to weigh some of them. 3.12. I'm going to put this into the fine. Like, for example. See when I picked this up, I saw the 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 rim was was odd. It's not all the way, it's not all the way around, but it's part of it. And it's not a railroad rim, it, but it's it's on its way there. So the collar probably had an issue, right? Because the rare, this is a beauty though. I'm gonna put this into the fine also. I'm still gonna only gonna call this ten cents, even if it's in that kind of condition. All right, and then at the bottom, see, I did it like this so that it's easy to add up, right? So we got. Four tens and a six, so we got forty six cents. And it just makes it easier for me to add, that's all. And maybe at maybe at the end I'll put the other one a little closer so I can add the row over. Wow. Uh, this is this is uh bronze. The 1959, 60, and uh, 61 of bronze. Uh, I'll put it for a dime also. I mean, if it wasn't for for that, this probably. But if this if this penny was in that that condition all the way around, I would have gave it 25 cents, maybe 30 cents. But like this, I'm gonna say, uh, look, you see how it's 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 thinner. I'm gonna, and you see the damage is what messes it up. See, look, it's thinner there. I don't know if that means anything. We have to weigh it. 307, so maybe a little little lighter. So it's bronze. I'm still only going to put it for, for 10 cents because uh, of the damage. <clears throat> so he sends me a, a picture, and he said... Uh, Oh, if I see, if I see one of the pennies that I think is worth more, you know, like that is like, oh, a 25, of, um, I'll tell you, otherwise, you know, like that, those are like, those fine condition pennies of, you know, maybe 10 cents, you know, if you got five of them to get, if you got 10 of them together, maybe someone will give you a buck for it, you know, I'm going to look at that four. And he sends me a picture, and um, of this uh, penny that has a tremendous, tremendous um, point zero six. Even though it's an older one, it's probably still worth. I mean, a, six, a 1964 in this condition is probably still worth a dime. I put it in for six cents just for the copper weight, just to be to be fair, you know. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna try to I'm gonna actually gonna try to oh wow I'm gonna try to lowball this, you know, so that way you know you don't think I'm I'm exaggerating. This is an absolute beauty. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna call this wow. This is a stunner, man. You know, it could be worth a dollar. I'm gonna put fifty cents. That's an that's an AU condition cent, copper cent. I'll put fifty cents. So another AU. Um, it's not as nice as the other one. I mean, the condition condition wise, it might be. That's a beauty, man. Wow. Absolute stunner.
Yeah, th this must be an old roll. I'll put. Th I'm gonna put uh, twenty five cents for that one. But, but why did I have the other one for fifty? Because of the uh, that gold look. Yeah, I guess so. I'll put twenty five cents for the other one. And so he sends me the picture. Has a really really wow, fifty two D. I'm never going to get through this story. That too. Man, does that too look high? Wow, we found the wheat scent, man. What a stunner. What a stunner. I'm gonna, I'm just going to put it in, in eBay real quick. I mean, if we find something like this, I, I, I'll eBay it really quick. I, I know I said I wasn't going to do that. <clears throat> But I wasn't expecting to find any. Uh, it only takes a second. I just go lowest first, you know, so that now you know that's the lowest one you could ever buy on eBay. Buy it now, I'm saying. Not 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 auction. I'm doing a. Do All right. So they got it. They have an uncir an average circulated. So it's a buck. Um, now the twos. Oh, yeah. The twos, for some reason, man, the twos and the Ds are just made high on this scent all right so this is a buck now remember uh, to sell on <laughs> if you sell it for a buck on ebay what are you gonna do it cost the stamp is almost 70 cents i see that above the hair i think i don't think that's a, i don't think that's a what's that called uh no that's just like like a clean spot or something i don't think that's a, a what's that called uh die clash let me check the back real quick it does have that, um, yeah, and this is a beauty. I'll be honest with you. Uh, for a buck, this might even be worth cleaning because the the condition of it is so great. I know they say never never clean a penny, um, a coin, excuse me, but you, it's, it's very difficult to see. But this one looks like it has these beautiful gold tones that you can't see because of the dirt. I bet you if this was like a shiny, shiny polished scent, just for... Uh, what's that called for as a novelty as a novelty someone might actually give like two or three bucks for it um i mean if it had an error of course you wouldn't clean it because then then it would have value that the cleaning would take away but as a a non-valuable you know as a one dollar penny it wouldn't matter really anyway so i'm going to put it for uh as a dollar and as a special cent um i'm gonna put you know what i'm gonna put it as 50 cents just to be fair just to be fair, I'm going to put it as 50 cents because really, if you had to mail it out, it would cost more than that, you know? So I'm going to put it as 50 cents. Maybe at like a flea market or something, you would get 50 cents for, for, for something like that. 64. Now, it's it's funny, right? Because now the, the, the thing is this, right? I mean, I got this from my from my local bank. You know, so it's not like I, I bought this on eBay. I spent twenty dollars on eBay for it and shipping and all that tax. Um, I got it. I got it on. Uh, I got it from my bank. Now, truth be said, I got that from my bank months ago. It's been sitting in uh, my basement this whole time. What another zinger! You know, have things changed over the course of several months? Uh, oh man, did I miss one? Oh, no, I think I missed the last one from talking. I'm going to have to put this into, into rows of 10 so I don't get confused. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, Okay, right, so the last one was 12 and this is 13. What's the last one we looked at? Was the 64, right? I'll put that down for as a... I'll put that down as 10 cents. All right, so I have to stay on top of things. I'll start talking. I'll get confused. This is a zinger. I'm going to put this down as 25 cents. Another AU cent. All right. If I miss one, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll try not to miss it. I can't count it once we get too high. Uh, and I have to get my, my mat back up. 
The 64P with the double die reverse is a key variety, which I didn't even check. Okay, no doubling. This should be number 15. Yeah, so I've never done I never done a video like this before. I just thought it would be interesting. I saw those uh but this is 10 cents. I saw the um I saw that roll in the bag those two rolls in the bag and i said ah oh, man i'm gonna those are great i haven't done one i haven't done a uh this one might have a possible lamination ever i'm still only gonna put it down for 10 cents 65 and i said oh man that's gonna be some great some good content you know because um i haven't done 10 cents Wow. Holy smokes. Wowzers, man. Dan, 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 dan. Wowzers, man. Dan, 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 dan. Oh, what's that? I have to look at that. That looks like a die clash. I don't think so. Just like it's a die crack. I can't believe that this is inside this penny. I'm going to weigh this one. 3.12. What a beauty. What an absolute stunner. I'm going to put this down for, as a. Uh, I'll put it down as 50 cents. This will go into my BU roll. This will go into my BU roll. These are these are like the AU, my AU roll. Just if you want to see the difference between, I started the new BU roll. This is only going to be my second penny in my BU roll, just to show you the difference between the rolls. So when I have a roll of these types of cents, then I'm going to say like 50 cents a piece. You're talking about, you know, you know, 20, 25 bucks for a roll of pennies that I got for a penny. Well, the roll I got for 50 cents, but uh, I'm going to try to turn it into 20 bucks. Whoa, holy, holy. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm not trying not to use, holy smokes. What is going on here? Would this person have this in their thing since the 70s? I'm going to put this into the BU roll. Wow, you know, I got to be honest with you. This almost looks like a special strike. It has the flat, it has the flat um, rim. See how the rim is flat? I know that means something. I'm actually going to put this to the side. This might be a special strike scent. I'm going to put this. You see it has the, the flat rim. I forgot what that means. If that means it's uh, uncirculated or something. But this is absolutely incredible. Uh, I'm just, just for just for time's sake, I'm just going to put this down as a dollar. This is absolutely incredible. And I'm going to put it down at the bottom as a special scent. Um, so now let, let me say this, right? This is not, but this is, this is typical when I found, when I got the, when I got rolls like that, it's typical with rolls like, with rolls like this, not typical, maybe, maybe 10, 20% copper, you know? Um, but I guess, wow, I'll put, I'm actually going to put this into, I don't know if I'm going to put this into AU or BU. I think I'm going to put this to the BU roll. So we got the AUs. We got the BUs. That's crazy, man. Let me let me compare this. I'm going to put it down if it's 25 cents before I forget. And then we're going to, after we get done with the first 25, I'm going to add it up real quick. So I said this is a BU, right? Which obviously it is. Then I said this is a BU. Now they oh, they're both 76s. That's pretty wild. I'm gonna weigh this one. Look at the difference in tone. 3.1 on the nose, man. Like all right, maybe I will put this into the into the AU roll. All right, I'll put that into the AU roll. Right, so I just I guess I got a little excited. I put 25 cents down, right? Yeah, I put 25 cents down. 
I might have missed one already. I can see if I did it, we'll just put a dot, 10 cents in there. 1964D. Put this as 10 cents. <clears throat> what smokers, huh? Yeah, I'll put that into the AU, put that as 10 cents. And it might be a quarter, but I'll put it as 10 cents. Like I said, I'm trying to to lowball this. I wish one of these was uh an error. I haven't seen any errors on it. I think that's a scratch in the column. Hmm. Another AU. Put his ten cents. Fifty-nine. First um First Lincoln Memorial penny ever made. Yeah, I put these in separate bags. I'll put this as uh, 25 cents. Holy moly, man. I'm going to put this with the BUs. It's incredible. I'm so glad I picked this one over the other one, you know. Well, that's not, I mean, I'm going to do the other one also. Wow. It's incredible, man. This is like a toss up between the AU and BU. I'm going to put this with the, uh, I'll put it with the AU. Once, once, once I have to ask myself the difference between the two, then I, I just go with the lower one. This is incredible. I mean, this is not typical, you know. I mean, it's, I, I don't get – I remember going to the bank once and getting many of those, um, but recently that hasn't been the case, you know. So let me put that out there. Wow, that's a nice misaligned die. You know, if that if those marks weren't there, this penny would be tremendous. And look how, look how flat that – look how flat that uh, – edges almost like if this is another uncirculated scent like this is part of the person's uh coin collection i'm telling you it's crazy you see how flat that scent that the, the edges that that i forgot what that someone's gonna put that in the i'm gonna put that with the au's regardless you know what i think i just missed a couple i think i just missed two i'm gonna put them as uh 10 cents each. I think I just missed two. Uh, if I did, I didn't. It don't matter. I mean, if something was really expensive, 63D, This, if this had a double die, it would be um, a key variety on the obverse. Some people call that L on rim. That, that's, that's BS. That's a scam uh, designation. No such thing. L on rim. It is a very nice scent. 63D. I still put it for 10 cents. I'll put it into the fine category. But this one is six cents. It's the price of copper. Zero six. All right. For some reason, I feel like there's less pennies there than there should be. So I must have, I don't know what happened. I must have missed some. All right. So, um, 
10, 26. Uh, so here we got a dollar, dollar one. Um, here we have a dollar five. Here we have 30. Here we have a dollar five. Uh, excuse me, a dollar 55. And here we have um, 35, 45, 55, 61. I should have put it here so I could add it up. I'll have to pull the calculator out later and add it up. All right. So th this is what we have left, and I just feel like that's less than 25, 25 cents. So it's like I said, it's an, it's, an, it's an estimate, you know. I mean, again, and this is a really – this is an all copper, um, an all copper roll. Um, but I did get it from. Uh, I'm gonna put. I might put this with the BU. Let me see. If it wasn't for that for that mark there, this would definitely be BU. I'm gonna I'm gonna knock it down to AU just because of that mark. Oh, that's uh, ten cents. Yeah, I know I missed some, but whatever I whatever I missed, it was uh it was six. I will we'll just put six cents in the ones that I missed. <sighs> That'll take care of it. Like this one here, you know, if I would have missed it, I, it's just it's six cents. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it's worth in copper. So I'll put six cents. Point zero six. That's not a big deal. Still a good estimate. I'm going to put this with the AUs, 10 cents. And we're almost done, so that means I missed a bunch of them. Not one error. Not one error. Sixty-eight. But that is uh, six cents. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. 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 I'll put the, I'll put the, I'm going to put this. Let me look at this. I might have to put this to the BU. I'm going to put this to the BU. So a lot of some of these sixty eight, some of these sixties, the um, it almost looks like the um, like the die was polished. You know that's where you get those really smooth features. I'm gonna put this as fifty cents. So this is gonna. It looks like this is gonna be an all copper. Um, Misaligned die. I'm not going to give that any value. I'm still going to keep this at six cents. I'll keep that at six cents. Um. So again, that's that's pretty unusual, you know. If you see those old, old looking um, six cents. Old looking uh, rappers, you know, there's a good chance. There's a better than average chance. This is a beauty. I put this as I'm going to put this into the AU roll. We'll call that uh, ten cents. So I think the title of this video is going to be. Um, how much is an all? Copper, I'm gonna put that six cents and all copper penny roll worth. Uh, 
misaligned die with the letters kind of melting into the uh, the rim up there. That's that's kind of interesting. This is the this is the first interesting one we found, I think. I'm pretty good at finding errors. What year is this? Sixty-eight. Uh, I don't know. Someone might like that. You know, be willing to pay a buck. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna put this as ten cents. I'll put it with the uh, the fines. See that with these pens, it, it never never gets dry. It always it always writes without leaving the cap off. But this is ten cents. I put this into the. Uh, I put it into fines. It's not. It's not quite AU, in my opinion. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. This is definitely. I'll put this into the AU. But this is ten cents. Yeah, one nice error would tip this over. Oh, yeah, so back to the story. The guy, he sends me the picture, 1961D. 61D, so this is, it's not doesn't it's not on the mat, but I'm going to put it as 10 cents regardless, just because of the, uh, wow, look how high that D is. Let me just look at that. It's not, I mean, it's not super duper high. Like, if it was a little, little higher, I would say it was actually misplaced. Uh, what a dark brown penny, huh? I'm going to put this as 10 cents. Um, so it has super, but the penny, the penny pictures they showed me, just to finish the story, had this super, like, the faces were, like, um, double, tripled, quadrupled. Of the Lincoln scent, you saw that you saw the um, you saw like four Lincolns, right? And I was like, "Wow, that's a really crazy era," you know. Um, and he goes, "Oh, what do you think it's worth?" And I said, "I'm going to say an auction between fifty and a hundred dollars on the low side," you know. And then he wrote me back. He goes, "Oh, I sold an auction for fifty six dollars," um, and I said, "Oh, you see, I guess I do know a little bit about you know prices and stuff." Um, Can't remember if he gave me an LOL. This is a beauty. I'm gonna put this with the AUs. I will call it 25 cents. Another AU. Call it 25 cents. Ten cents. So I think this is pretty accurate, you know. Like I said, I'm putting on this one. I'm gonna probably put this into the, the AU category because it's just it's, it's it's crazy. The condition is crazy. Like you know, copper alone is worth six cents, right? We already established that, and um, I can't believe it's six cents now. I mean, it might go back down to five or four cents. It might go up to ten cents. Um, but regardless, so we're just calling it ten cents. You know, so I think I would say, you know, ten pennies like this, you can get a dollar for today. I mean, you can get sixty cents for it. So that's what it's worth in copper. So you're talking about just an extra forty cents, four cents each. So I think, I think, I think calling call the AUs. I've been putting for twenty five, but. I don't know. This is like more like a lower AU. So I'm going to put this as 10 cents, even though I'm still putting it into the AU uh, roll. Like some of the AUs are just a little bit better, but not quite BU. Like this one. Yeah. This is this. I can't put this into the fine rolls, man. This is, and it's not quite BU. Um,
Yeah, I'll put that as 10 cents. I can't remember if I was putting the BUs for 10 cents, 25 cents, or 50 cents. Look at that rim, huh? That's a big fat rim. Wow. These are these are such beautiful pennies. Put that for 10 cents. I only got a few more. Then I'll have to do the addition real quick. And put that at six cents. Yeah, so I missed a few. Um, I'm gonna just I'm just gonna put them as uh, six cents. I wish we found an error, but honestly, it's almost a nice example because, you know, this is put it as six cents. We got one more, and then I'm gonna put the three that I missed as six cents. Wow. Put this as 10 cents. Put that with the AUs. Okay. And then I'm going to put, I missed three of them. So I'm just going to put six cents down. Every, so everything was copper. So that is super duper rare. Uh, hey, you can do the math with me if you want to go a little closer so you can see it pretty, pretty good. All right. So we got uh, 16, 26. 32 plus 50 is a 82. We got 26 plus 12, 38 cents. We got a 30, 45, 70 cents. We got 46 cents. And we got a uh, 6, 12, 18, 24, 34 cents. All right. So let's see. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to pull the uh, the old calculator out for this one. I probably don't have to, but uh, I'll probably screw it up if I don't. Uh, we got 46 cents plus a uh, dollar one. Plus a dollar five. Plus a dollar thirty, dollar fifty five. I think that says dollar. Uh, yeah, I think so. Plus sixty one cents. Plus uh, eighty two cents. Plus thirty eight cents. Plus 70 cents. 70 cents. Plus 46 cents. And plus 34 cents. All right. So according to according to my math, if it's correct, we got uh, seven dollars and thirty-eight cents. Let me just write it here. <laughs> now, again, so. I think that's pretty accurate. I think that's pretty accurate. Um, is it is it big money? No. If there was a good if there was a good um, ever in there, it would probably be worth you know maybe a, an extra few dollars. I mean, a good good ever could be worth ten twenty bucks on its own. But generally speaking, you know, if you have a, a nice, and if it was if it was just if it was just um, copper, right? With nothing. I mean, we had some incredible incredible sense you know these are these are the ones that jacked up the price um we got the wheat scent in there you know what i mean so there were some nice um special things in there we got these beautiful another you know like a roll of 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 au scents um you know in this condition you know i put it down for what uh 10 cents i think i put them down for so you're talking about Five bucks, right? No, is that right? Yeah, ten cents at ten cents a piece. So I really didn't. So 
at 10 cents a piece, if you have a roll of these, it's, you know, you, maybe at a flea market, you sell them for five bucks. You know what I'm saying? You can't beat that, man. You paid 50 cents for it. You can't beat that. Um, so I got it down as a uh, $7 and 38 cents. So that would be a, at six cents a piece, 0 0.06 times 50. Uh, and all, and all copper, um, penny roll is worth the three dollars right now um or six or six x right times a penny so whenever someone says oh if you found a, a copper oh that's that's only worth a penny that's not true it's worth six cents a copper penny is worth six cents it's not worth six pennies because six copper pennies is worth 36 cents right so uh, a copper penny is worth six cents um and here I, we got a little premium from from uh some nice conditions of wheat and um might i put this one to the side oh this one had the uh the letters on the rim there i think i said it was worth like uh, 50 cents or something like that okay so i hope you enjoyed this video i thought this was a nice um example i have uh this this role here i'm gonna do this is gonna be episode 132 um the members get to check it out uh, members get to watch scheduled videos right away and um otherwise uh you know just like a tv show you'll get to see it see it when it's scheduled all right thank you very much i hope you enjoyed this god bless and i'll see you on the next one